entertainer has gone from the bar to the stage, leaving the job that helped make her famous. But that doesn't mean that she's giving up her wigs and heels and all that. Erin Gilchrist has her story. Female impersonator Shaquita Lee is living her dream of becoming a Vegas-style showgirl in the nation's capital. <laughs> She is the brains behind Drag Salute to the Divas, a new review at the historic Howard Theater in Northwest Washington. I always wanted to have like a Las Vegas or Atlantic City review show of uh, female impersonators here in D.C. because we're the nation's capital and I feel that, you know, it's enough tourists that come here that would love to see what we do, but they don't want to come to an environment of a nightclub or a bar to see a drag show. More than 600 people attended opening night, the first drag show at the Howard Theater since the 1960s. <laughs> Shaquita brought her star power and a fan base that has grown and grown thanks to her weekly performances calling bingo at Nelly's Sports Bar. Oh, 75! Oh, 75! Shaquita Lee and Tyria Iman called their last bingo numbers at Nelly's earlier this summer after a four-year run. <laughs> The ladies will still perform at Drag Brunch every Sunday, another tradition not just for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. We are moving one step further as far as female impersonators or transgender women. Um, we are known now as we are people, and we're given an opportunity and chance to express our talent and let people enjoy it besides the LBGT community. As for the Howard Theater, with performances with the likes of Beyonce, the audience couldn't get enough. Great. I think these girls are working it out. Yes, Beyonce especially. <laughs> she rolled them off. While Drag Salute to the Divas doesn't have a regular gig at the Howard Theater yet, you can catch the next performance on October 10th. Mary Gilchrist for Nonstop Scene DC. If you're interested, tickets are $20 in advance. And that's it for us tonight for The Rundown. Thanks for joining us. There's more news coming up on News 4. At 11, I'm Barbara Harrison.